Shinis from Shinis Lab. Today we are going to learn how we can integrate Telegram app with our Java program. You all know the Telegram is famous communication app which is available in Android and iOS. So in this program, we will connect to Telegram and what all data come to Telegram we will capture in Java. For that I am creating a Maven project and giving the necessary prerequisite like group ID, artifact ID and all. Once that is done, the project structure is ready. So now I am going to create a package like this as common to all projects, giving the package name as com.test.telegram. Now we need to find the dependency for this uh, project. The basic dependency is telegram bot jar. For that I am adding a dependency section in my POM, Maven POM. Then I need to find uh, the corresponding telegram dependency from Maven repository. For that, uh, I just go to Google. In the Chrome browser, I am just giving the keyword like org.telegram plus the Maven repo. It will take me to the Maven repository. From there, I need to go to Telegram board session and need to copy the form session and copy it in our my project. It's look like this dependency section look like this. Once that is done, uh, I need to create the class. I mean, the basic class to connect to uh, Telegram. And I'm giving us Telegram bot, Telegram my bot as the name. And it's need to implement or sorry extends a class which is available in the telegram bot jar it's called telegram long bot okay so after that we need to give the required uh, we need to overwrite overwrite few methods one is the update method and the other one is the get bot name and we need to overwrite one more uh, one more method that is get bot token these are the three important functions we need to override from the base class, which is available in the Telegram jar. But from where we will get the token? And this update method is uh, simple, like what which all updates comes in the Telegram will route it to this method. That's how it works. But the two important thing is like the bot token and the bot name. So for creating this, we need to go to Telegram application first. So I will show you that part also. Just go to your phone and take the Telegram app. Inside the Telegram app, you need to type like Botfather. It's an internal program which is available in Telegram. And go to take the Botfather and just type slash start. It will list all the commands which we can uh, do with the Telegram bot. From this, we need to find uh, the bot creation command like the slash new bot. It will create a new bot for us. Then it will ask for the bot name. What is the preferred bot name we are going to give? The one condition is the old bot name which ends with a bot keyword. Like see, uh, I created Shini the test bot as my bot. And I'm giving that and picking that name. And from that section itself, I got the bot token. I copy the bot token from that Telegram bot father and just paste it in my program. Okay, now I think we are all set and I'm running my application. I just, for running it, obviously we need to create a main program. For that I'm creating a main class. And I'm giving the main class as test telegram bot main as the class name. And I'm adding the method main function there. See, inside the main function, I'm going to create uh, the telegram uh, bot class which I created just now. I'm creating that class, instantiating it. I'm instantiating the class, my bot. And now I need to register this bot to the Telegram API. For that, uh, another class is available in the Telegram jar. Okay, Telegram bot API. I need to create instance of the Telegram bot API with the default uh, bot, bot session. Default bot session as the parameter. Once that is done, okay, this is how we need to give default port session. It will throw an exception. Maybe you can catch it or throw it. I'm, I prefer to throw it as a, because it's a test. 
and after that api dot register register our register board with the board which we created not the api it's the board then now all set i'm just adding some sysouts uh, to just to show just to understand whether the application started and whether the application ends so i'm giving some logs starting telegram and now waiting for the message all set now yes uh, now we can start our application yes i'm running it as java application see uh, starting telegram board now it, the board tried to connect to the telegram board server and it will take few seconds to connect to the telegram board once that is done we are getting a message like uh, connected so now we need to go take again our telegram up i need to go to uh, basically we need to add telegram board to the group maybe if you want to read something from the group you need to add the our board to the group okay whichever group you want to uh, read just add our board also to that group now my board is added to the test java telegram group and now whatever message i type okay you know whatever message i type uh, it will be reflected in the in the telegram see immediately when i type the result comes in so that's how it is like this is how we are integrating telegram with java thanks for watching